if you're thinking to apply master outside india then you fall under three categories that you know which country to go but you don't know or confused between the universities and courses sometimes you know about the courses but they don't know about the university and the country and sometimes you know you want to do master but you are confused on what exactly and how the procedure goes so sit back have a coffee or a tea and these are the basic instructions for ms so the first step is if you're confused and you're totally lost it's best to start with listing out the countries that have a good master option when compared to india like australia europe us and canada some of part some parts of canada and then if you have any ideas already which university you need to go or you're planning to go then you can make a list out of it but generally all the four countries countries and continents requires a few basic requirements uh, for master's degree that is you need to have a GRE score you need to have a IELTS score and you have you need to like have a statement of purpose that is SOP and letter of recommendation IELTS is a basic exam since our country is uh, countries like first language is not uh, English though we are highest speaking English population in the world but still um, we need to give an IELTS exam uh, depending upon the university you need either TOEFL even that is an English exam uh, it should be around 7 or 6.5 if you're concentrating on Europe then it is best advised to have a 7 especially because from India we usually concentrate mostly on Germany Sweden Netherlands so it is really good to have a score of 7 GRE is a graduate record examination which contains of two parts one is that which has both english and mathematics and another one is like essay writing which is called analytical writing the first part is of is conducted like you know up to 340 marks and the second part is graded from zero to six on the basis like scale to zero to six coming back to the fourth point is SOP that is statement of purpose it is essentially mean that why you want to go to that particular university or that uh, college or that country and what made you to choose that master degree because here like any part of the other world they do something they like because they have a purpose through to it like they want to do it because some of the incident that happened in their life made them to choose master in that particular course uh, so you have to write an uh, letter of thousand words or depending upon again university uh, one page two page or four pages of SOP and the letter of recommendation is very simple that where you have worked or uh, where the professor from your college gives a letter of recommendation saying that the student is really good studious etc etc all good stuff and yeah so you basically request four uh, documents to go about so what people usually do is that uh, they go for consultancy uh, i would say that instead of spending money there since the application fees for each university has a specific amount instead of spending it on consultancy actually you can do it uh, by yourself as i did or uh, to like i did on my own it is very simple GRE takes about four to six months depending upon the uh, score you're aiming for especially if you're aiming for country like us canada then you have to have a GRE score whereas the countries like in Europe for example Germany requires GRE score whereas Netherlands does not require a GRE score and Sweden some university requires some university don't so depending upon the universities the GRE uh, requirement varies but since you're confused on which country to go or where to go or which university to go GRE always plays a crucial uh, role in your uh, uh, like resume like you need to have a good GRE score you know to balance out everything suppose if you are lagging in um, some uh, percentage or grades in your bachelor's then if you get really good score in GRE it can uh, compensate the uh, balance of your resume and you will have a high chance of getting into a really good universities and for IELTS it takes about one to one week to one month yeah it's quite easy but for TOEFL you may require a little bit of more time if you are like you have no clue on the exam then you may require one month but if you have a little bit clue then there is actually no 
that much preparation required for IELTS or uh, TOEFL, uh, at least according to me. But yes, the requirement will be there. It depends upon from person to person though. But on an average, you require this much of time. So if you start your MS preparation around 9 to 10 months earlier, then you can have a really good start and you can really write your SOP, like statement of purpose. You can know yourself really better on the process of writing your SOP, letter of recommendations and everything on your own. And it is also quite nice to know exactly where you are going and how you are going. Usually what happens is consultancy have their tie-ups with different types of institutes and they try to send you there so that they can have a profit so instead of that you know you can really have a clear idea because you, you will be investing your time money and energy on something like that so you can have a better idea if you do like that so if you want to know more about it or if you know, want to know in detail on how to apply how to prepare everything do let me know in the comment section below i hope you like it please subscribe like and share bye guys see you next time